Good morning and welcome to the Battle Within. We're continuing our study in 2 Peter chapter 2, and we're going to be looking at verses 17, 18, and 19 today. Let's go ahead and get reading. 17 said, These are wells without water. Now remember, Peter is talking about these people who are deceiving pe other people. They're kind of uh, base fellows. They, they're they involved in adultery. They, they can only think in, in terms of sensual desires and, the, and, and fulfilling the needs of the flesh. And he says in verse 17, These are wells without water, clouds that are carried away with the tempest, to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they themselves, while they promise them liberties, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he found in bondage. So he says here in verse 17, these, these people that we've just been talking about are wells without water. You know, if you ever come upon a well and it got no water, the well's not worth anything. It may look like a well. You could put flowers around it. You could paint the well. You can make it look beautiful. But if there's no water in the well, it's not. It's just a hole in the ground. It's not really a well. It doesn't mean anything. He said these are like wells without any water. They don't mean anything. They can look anyhow. They can present themselves any way. But in the end, they're useless. They don't provide anything. He says also clouds that are carried away with the tempest, to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. He says, these are those that the, the, he, he says, the clouds that are carried away with the tempest. In other words, you got a cloud that looks like it's going to, have you ever been outside and you see a big black cloud kind of roll up? You think, oh my goodness, this is going to be a terrible storm. And the wind blows around and it blows off the other way. You get nothing out of it. And you, you know, when, especially when it's been hot and dry and you're looking for some rain and you're excited about, oh boy, here comes a big black cloud. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of rain. And then it, it kind of peters out. Peter's out, so <laughs> it kind of does. It doesn't work. So he says here that uh, um, that the, the but he says to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. These people, these these useless wells, these these clouds that really they they look like they're going to do something, don't provide anything. He says they are reserved in the midst of darkness is reserved for them. There's a place in hell for them. Hell is a place of darkness, weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 18 says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, that they allure those through the lust, lure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. He said, These people right here have great orations. You got some great speakers. There's some people that really are great at influencing people through speech. And they can talk you into almost anything. They're kind of like that slick car salesman of the past. Notice of the past, not today. But of the past that went out there that would sell you anything. They could sell you anything, they say. This old idea that they could sell ice to an Eskimo. Uh, uh, that, you know, that type of thing. These people had great words, but the problem was they were vanity. They didn't have any meat to them. It said they allured through the lust of the flesh. So what they did was, since they didn't have any substance, what they did was they would tie, tie into it the, the, the baser things. You know, things that would, would draw you into what they're saying through sexual activities or, or drugs or, or, you know, alcohol or something like that that can draw you in so that you become part of them. And he says that, uh, that uh, verse 19, while they promise them liberties, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is brought, he, he is brought into bondage. So these people pretend to be something, but in the end, they're just servants of Satan. That leads a man or a woman to destruction, not until eternal life ever after. These are pretty poor people. Uh, they were in Peter's day, and they're in our day. And we're going to see a little something in the next day that's going to kind of set us on fire, some of us, but showing that Peter had a concern about what was slipping into the church and wanted to make sure that these people were identified and everybody understood who they were. Let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. I pray Lord, help us to understand your word. Sometimes there's some tough words, and this is one of those lessons, but thank you, Lord, for the opportunity we have to 